The 2014 South Australian Business Owner Award winner is Sandra Berry. Wow. <laughs> Where does one begin? Well, first of all, uh, late this afternoon I said to myself, well, I was told to write a speech for today and unaccustomed to public speaking as I am because I'm an auctioneer, I thought, well, this will be interesting. <laughs> My partner came home beautifully and I said to him, you know, I'm still not ready. And he said a couple of words and I'm going to share them with you now because they've become important to us over the last week as we prepare for his auction journey in the Australasian Auctioneering Championships next week. It's my reflection on what women are like in business. There's nothing more beautiful than the way the ocean continues to kiss the shoreline, regardless of how many times it gets sent away. And I think Lane Beachley could probably understand that quite nicely. Persistence, commitment, gracefulness. They're probably the three words that sum up how I feel about women in business, the women that I come into contact within business in a fairly significant male-dominated environment that I work. It's a fantastic career that I have. My passion for auctioneering and using everything about it to alter the real estate landscape, public perceptions, the longevity and the archaicness of the industry that I work in. It's notorious for turning people over at a rate of knots. I have an absolute passion to change that by leading the way as a woman, a woman auctioneer, a woman board member, and a woman business owner. A lot of people probably don't realise that to be a business owner in real estate practices is quite rare. To be an auctioneer is something even rarer. This award now not only provides me the platform, a credible platform, that I've been so much wanting to change lots of things within my industry. For school leavers, a profession of choice. For women, a profession with longevity. Thank you to Telstra. I couldn't believe that someone nominated me to be in this category, in this award. They have been patient, they have been kind, and they've been so professional in the way that they've tackled the most difficult of questions, filling out our uh, summary of our lives and our businesses in general. To the CBA and Kylie behind us, the uh, Women in Focus group was my first introduction to the other competitors. Um, I shouldn't call them competitors because they're actually colleagues and the most amazing things have occurred over the last few weeks as we all network and talk about our lives as women in business. It's uh, if I got anything at all out of uh, the journey since April till now, it's been actually meeting them all. They're all winners and we've all discussed that on many occasions over the last couple of weeks. So congratulations to all of you for being here. Just being inside this room is quite something that's quite extraordinary. To my family, they're all here tonight. It's not very often I get them in the same room. Thank you for allowing me to do what I do. It's many hours of hard work, concentration, times when mum left the house late at night to go and visit clients and build the business progressively over a number of years. To my two friends, my friend of 17 years, Susan's here tonight, she stood alongside me years ago, 17 years ago actually, when I have a um, bit of a rebel with a cause, tried to have someone dismissed from a high school, and she said, all right, I'll back you up, let's go do it. Um, I've always been someone that stands on principle and says if it's right, it's right, and if it's wrong, it's wrong, and she's been uh, for me every step of the way, so thank you for that, Susan. And to Janet, my adopted mother, my parents live in Melbourne, so they're not here tonight. But Janet's on hand always to make sure I do get that break. She says, movie tonight. Which one do you want to go to? And then, of course, there's my mentor and also my partner, Lindsay Warner, someone that's coached me in auctioneering. He's one of the men in my industry that have worked alongside me willingly. And I say graciously, thank you to all of those men. They have allowed me into their world. They've allowed me to do what I love doing and they've done it fearlessly, which I think a lot of men tend to fear us women being around at times. So hats off to you, Lindsay. You share my space with me and I appreciate every minute that you do. Thank you very much to everyone. I hope you enjoy the evening. It's the biggest honour of my life.